The Philips Variable Building System, also called VBS, is a modular mechanical system for the construction of a wide range of prototype and definitive assemblies. Rapid, easy assembly, modification and extension of the structure are integral features of the system not found elsewhere. The material of the clamping blocks consists of high-pressure aluminium alloy castings. Each element can connect round bars or dovetail bars with the same diameter or in a consecutive diameter. For the corners, you do have special clamping elements to connect round bars in three directions. And by standard, these directions are all strictly perpendicular to each other. As for the dovetailed bars, you do have special triangular clamps. They came in three dimensions. In this case, I connected a fax system part to the triangular clamp. By standard, you only could connect two round bars with the same diameter but I wanted to connect two round bars with a consecutive diameter, so I introduced a 3D printed part to make this possible. To enlarge the versatility of the VBS system, Philips also introduced so-called self-aligning bearings. And once the bearings were aligned correctly, you could tighten its position just by locking the backplate with four bolts. Another interesting addition to the VBS system was the introduction of the so-called wheel sets. These wheel sets either contained three ball bearings or two ball bearings, but they were always used together. The most simple setup was the use of two triple wheel sets combined with one double wheel set to make a translation table. Recently, I was gifted a large collection of the VBS system and decided to make a demo model about this system. So I created a simple framework and on top of this framework I created an X and I table. The basic drive for the XI table is just a simple motor, but just to understand the forces involved by moving the X and I table, I introduced a hand-driven drive as well. Just by using the hand drive, you can feel the forces involved by moving the X table and the I table separately. To drive the translation table, I made a small device with fuck system parts. The large bevel gear is tightened on top of the large spare gear. This gear couple is either engaged with a small bevel gear driving by the hand wheel, or it is engaged by a small spare gear which has been tightened on top of a motor shaft. The translation table is driven by XL timing belts. The large Teetheth pulley counts 48 teeth and the small teetheth pulley counts 24 teeth. The drive is always running in phase. I want to finish this video by showing some contraptions made by the industry. The first one is a shaving cutter guard positioner. The device positions the guard relative to the shaving cutters. Another device was a so-called print controlling device. A small print was being positioned on top of a plate and the camera made this visible on a large screen so that you could check the print for any possible failures. The VBS also could be used to make scaffoldings. In this case it was a scaffolding for a shred press. This device represents part of a television assembly line. With this device you could easily rotate the television to make certain places accessible 
for the workers. And this is probably my favorite contraption. This machine is a so-called coil winding machine to make coils for record player motors. All kinds of electronics, pneumatics, actuators were added to operate the machine. Within each sequence, six coils were made at the same time. And this machine is from the early 70s. Thank you for your attention to my vid. I hope you enjoyed it. You can always subscribe to my channel and I hope to welcome you next time.